To get started with Yeti, we'll want the Yeti plugin loaded and a UV model. Yeti is compatible with multi UV tile setups. Um, this model is broken up into front, back, neck, and other. This should allow enough resolution for the maps that we will be creating. Having enough resolution will allow us to paint sharp cuts in our density maps and uh, soft fades as well. When working with Yeti, we're going to be jumping between the Yeti shelf, Yeti menu, attribute editor, and tool settings. And now, all that's left to do is to create a Yeti node. So, let's go up to the Yeti menu, create Yeti node. Or, you can also go to the Yeti shelf and create Yeti node. Now what we want to do is add the mesh to the node that we just created. To do this, we select the Yeti node, and we go to the Attribute Editor, Graph Section, Input Objects. Now we'll see a list of all the available objects in the scene. Expand the head group and select Head Geo. Now we should see the Head Geo listed in the Yeti Nodes graph input objects. We could also save a step if we select the mesh and use the Create Node on Selected Mesh option. This option automatically adds a selected mesh to the Yeti Nodes input objects list. Now that we have a Yeti node, let's create a Groom node. The same process applies. Select the mesh, go up to the Yeti shelf, create Groom on selected mesh. Now in the same way that we had to add the mesh to the Yeti node, we must also add the Groom to the Yeti node's graph inputs. So again, select the Yeti node, go to the Attribute Editor, Graph and input grooms this time. Now hit add grooms. This window will list all the available Yeti grooms. Since we've only created one, we select the one. Now we see the groom node listed in the input grooms. So now that we have the Yeti node and the groom node, let's start building out our uh, Yeti network. So let's go to the Yeti menu and open the graph editor. From the graph editor, select the Yeti node and create an import node. We want to import the head geo, so let's leave the type as uh, geometry. Select the head geo. The list will only show objects that we added to the Yeti node's uh, graph inputs. So we've only added the head geo, so let's go ahead and select it. And uh, let's rename the node head geo. Next we have to import the groom so let's create another import node. Double click and change the type to groom. Select the groom node that we added to the Yeti node earlier. Select. Now let's name it base groom. Now the other nodes we're gonna need are a scatter node, a grow node, and a comb node. The scatter node will determine the points on the surface from which the hair will be grown. The grow node is going to determine the length of the hair and the comb node will determine the shape of the hair. Uh, to do this uh, we'll connect the groom import node to the comb node's second input. Now we can go to the viewport and from the graph editor, select the Yeti node and make the scatter node the, the root. Now we should see a bunch of points scattered throughout the mesh geometry. Next, let's change the root to the grow node and we should see hair grown from the, from the scatter points. Double click on the scatter node to open up the node inspector. From here, we can adjust the density multiplier value, which will update the density of the scatter points. Activating the lock density will lock the density to what you see represented in the 
viewport, which will be helpful for clumping later on. But for now, let's leave it off. And finally, if we make the comb node active, we will see that nothing has changed because we currently don't have any guides or, as it's referred to in Yeti, any strands. So next, let's go ahead and create a few strands.